Hello again, everybody. It is the coach. You're tuned in to Madden 19 on EA Sports. Coming up next, we've got what should be a good one between the monsters of the Midway, the Chicago Bears, and the Green Bay Packers. With that, let's get up to Green Bay, Wisconsin. Standing by for the call from Venerable Lambeau Field, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. We are at the oldest continually operating stadium in the NFL as you get a look inside Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. We all know this community lives for its Packers, and the green and gold came out of the tunnel a short time ago, and it was loud. We are ready for football. So are they as the Packers get set to match up with the Chicago Bears. Welcome again, one and all. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Brandon Gordon on hand alongside Charles Davis. And yes, the storyline here, the weather. Snow and more of it expected as this game continues. So how will that impact how this one goes? Can these teams ignore the distraction and the strangeness of playing in a snow game? Because it actually affects the crowd as well. That big roar you get is often muffled when there's a snow game. And the second part, what's the footwear you got on? Does that fit the turf you're playing on? And how will it handle as things get a little bit slick? now on first down. They'll leave it for Montgomery complete. And some room to maneuver. And all the way down to the 36-yard line. A big play there on the first play of the game. And even 40 yards. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that and have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team towards a victory. Let's if this is caught inside the five. And they do get him down, but not before he reaches the four-yard line. That goes for a gain of 31. On any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, it was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. Steps away to his left, and he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. They'll run it with Williams. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. Rodgers now on third and goal. He'll buy some time right. And that is incomplete. But they took the shot, didn't get it, and there's definitely a difference here because they had a chance to get seven, maybe eight if they pushed it. Instead, they'll likely settle for three. Yeah, opening drive, holding him to three, psychologically, maybe a win for the defense. Rodgers going to go on fourth down. Got a man open, it's Adams. Touchdown, Green Bay. Devontae Adams from four yards out. And the Packers take it right down the field and score on the opening drive. Big fourth down conversion for the score and the defense. That is a tough pill to swallow. Big time for them. How about them just deciding to go for it on fourth down and, oh, okay, forget the field goal because that looked like an easy three points. Yeah, you might have had a defensive breakdown in there, but they pressed the issue and found a way to get it into the end zone. Give them big credit for that. Now the return man. This is Benny Cunningham. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. They'll be led out by their quarterback who grew up just outside of Cleveland on Lake Erie, Mitchell Trubisky. 
I'm excited about seeing his progress because in his rookie year, he started somewhere around midseason and carried it the rest of the way. You saw improvement week after week, but they keep adding people around him. And when he plays on a team that has those weapons that you're looking for, those key guys, it'd be fun to see him run an offense as well as skillfully use his legs in order to gain some extra yardage too. It's his target. It's Taylor Gabriel. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. And they've got it here with a first down. One quarter down. 7 nothing is our score. We're back to Lambeau in just a moment. On first down, Trubisky. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. And you just know when that play call came in, their eyes lit up because anytime you get a chance to take a big shot downfield, that's a lot of fun, and they missed an opportunity. Again on second and ten, it's Trubisky. And the hook up here to Allen Robinson. Touchdown, Chicago! Allen Robinson. 52 yards, and the Bears are an extra point away from tying the football game. And nothing too crazy there, a quick slant, and then he just had a seam. He found a seam. And when you hit it on the run like that, and I mean the pass right to the receiver who's already in motion and moving, sometimes he just takes it and runs away from everyone else. And he ran it into the end zone, and the defense, they've got to adjust there quickly. That's tough on them. That's really tough because everything was executed well. Ball was out of his hands quickly, into the hands of the receiver, and then he was gone. Trevor Davis now to return. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Now the Packers get set to go. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Because yeah, the secondary, they really look foolish. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no good plays by the defense to knock the ball away. And he takes this one down all the way near the 30. The gain of 39 that time. First down now, but that clock rolling. They'll run it now out of the gun. And a pretty little juke move there on a nice game. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and it'll be second and very short. From the gun, it's Rodgers. Flush to his right. He's going to dump that off to his running back, Montgomery. And all the way down inside the five to the four. 18 yards there, and it'll be a first and goal. That opening drive rhythm continues right into play number three. Whatever they decided that they wanted to run before the game, it's working pretty well for them right now. Moving the ball downfield at a nice rate. And guess what? I think the chain crew might have to get a little oxygen over there. They have to keep moving downfield with first downs on each play. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. The clock rolls as the Packers look to hurry things up. On second down, here's Rodgers. Touchdown, Packers! Jimmy Graham as the first half is winding down. And the Packers are able to cash in for six. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. Crosby on now to kick it away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Hey, oh, we got, you see it? You see it? Oh, I need it. They'll begin the drive with Howard. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Just a yard on the pickup there and it'll bring up a second and nine.
So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. The snow certainly making conditions difficult and is not likely to get better anytime soon as we turn it right back over to Brandon and Charles. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. Not too many breaks ahead, according to the radar. More snow on the horizon as we are back underway in half number two. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. So here's the Bears' offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some. There's a reason for that. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means they're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Now Trubisky on third and long. And Robinson with a big catch. And all the way down to the 26. Trubisky hitting Robinson for a big one. 53 yards. Coaches really don't care from what position they get this. But run after the catch ability, rack ability, is often the difference between winning and losing and changing field position. Now Trubisky to throw. And he'll take this across midfield and inside the 45. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Back to the air on second down. It's Rodgers. This is caught with a catch right side. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Lambeau. It's Packer football here as they've got the lead as well to begin the fourth quarter. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. Forced out to his left. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. Rodgers looking to throw. This will be caught just inside the 10. Oh, no, he lost the football. And this is picked up by the Bears. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. All I know, partners, that with every play call that came in, 
there was a little discussion about, hey, we can seal this bad boy. We can really put ourselves in a great spot to take total control. And yet, they find a way to cough it up. Yeah, the two-score game opportunity eludes them. And now, a chance for the other side to come back here. Yeah, that means defense has to go out there and make some plays themselves. So we call seven chains. And this is going to be a safety as Trubisky gets swallowed up in the end zone. What a gut punch. That should be the nail in the coffin with those two points making this a two-score game now with time, Charles, clearly not on their side. Yeah, they have to give the football away as well. Had a chance. Yeah, it was a small chance to get down the field, but guess what? This one's now just about over. The Packers offense now, they get ready to head back onto the field. Getting down to the end here, they have a two-score lead, barely, but it's a two-score lead, so that probably makes the coach feel a lot more comfortable right now, doesn't it, Charles? It does, but it doesn't mean now you go out and run option or some kind of wild double reverse or anything like that, but you do know that if anything does go haywire, you're still in control of this game. I want a double reverse, don't you? <laughs> I'm just waiting for that day where we actually see something like that in this situation. We'll, we'll see what happens here. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. Partner, as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. Now a first down carry. It's Williams. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. And now the Bears going to signal for another timeout as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. Rodgers throwing here. Flushed out right. Well, this is Montgomery with a grab over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Rodgers hands to Montgomery and able to push his way forward here for a good little game. The former giant, Prince of Ukamara, on the stop. Rodgers to throw. It's caught outright by Graham. And bulldozing his way through. A big game there, and that should certainly be enough to put this one in the win column. It's so important to tackle well against these guys. But you and I both know that's easier said than done when the guy you're trying to tackle looks like this guy. And it's usually going to take more than one man to get him down, and it did right there. Rodgers handing to Montgomery. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly right, brought go. down. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Now Rodgers steps away. And that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. Adrian Amos, the safety, able to make the play. It's always tough for the guys throwing the football when they think they've got a completion and the ball's almost there, and then someone sneaks a hand or two in and bats it away. On third down, they go Montgomery. And a few little style points on the juke, but not much room to maneuver after that. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. Well, partner, there's something special about a game in the snow. Just always fun in these elements, although a little chillier up here in the open-air booth. The only thing that's not fun is that we got the mid-game notification that our flight was canceled tonight, but we'll deal with that later. It was really a fun game to watch, though. It was, and there is something special about games played in the snow because the element of surprise really kicks in. You don't know how they're going to handle the ball, if someone's going to make a dramatic play just out of nowhere.